happy uh, Wednesday morning to you all. It is August 17th. Gospel day is from Matthew 20, verses 1 through 16. And this is that passage uh, that I think just irritates a lot of Americans. Because uh, it, it, it goes against really, I think, our, our sense of justice in this world. Uh, you know, we operate on a quid pro quo. I do this and you give me that. That's our system. And uh, here's Jesus giving this parable about this. This landowner who clearly does not operate on that system. He's a generous man. And like I think a lot of people, this passage used to tweak me. Like, oh, what's going on? And then, of course, as I got a little, little bit more mature, I'm not mature, but matured up a little bit. And then I investigated this passage a little bit more uh, and just understood the depth of what Jesus was saying about the generosity of this landowner. But this landowner is not only giving these men jobs and paying them the salary, but these men who could not find work in the latter part of the day, you know, they were in danger, their families are in danger, so by him doing this, and they're probably not working because they're either foreigners, they may have an illness, so they're not acceptable. And so uh, this, gen this generosity of the landowner is saving the family. And of course, Jesus is making a point that this is the way God thinks. God, God sees into the depths and God sees the real need and wants to take care of the need. And a challenge for me, challenge for us is to see as God. Uh, you know, so when my quid pro quo hackles get raised, I need to, I think I need to step back and say, okay, what's the real value here? You know, and look beyond me. Oh, I'm not getting this. And that person is, and to see and to trust uh, that maybe the other person needs it uh, more than I, because let's face it, as a priest, I'm pretty well taken care of. Yeah. So if your hackles are raised on this, good, because it means it's touching a sore subject and something that we need to think, you need to think about, I need to think about, okay? And of course, that's the value of good scripture. Good scripture ought to mess with us and uh, make us rethink our values, okay? so. Okay, guys, so I will see you back here tomorrow. Enjoy.